How you doing everybody? Uh, this is the Maxpedition Remora Slinger that I wanted to do a review on that you see me bring up actually I think in two videos now. Uh, I've had it uh, coming on almost three months I think now and uh, I've used it enough, taken it out enough and used it in the function that I wanted it for enough to get a pretty good opinion about it. And for the most part it's pretty positive. Um, you know, overall, it's really hard to say a lot of bad things about Maxpedition. I have a few qualms about the bag, and I'll bring those up at the end, but uh, my intention of this particular one was to have a, a better camera bag than what I was using. Before, I was using the M1 waste pack, and, which was nice, but with a camcorder and a digital camera, it's, it was way too tight of a fit. And then to put a data cable in it and a battery pack, and I have four batteries for my camera. A little overboard, but, you know, just in case. It was a bit small, so I got the opportunity to get this one. And when I got it, I was actually a little surprised. It was larger than I thought it would be, so I was a little taken back. Um, it's actually a little bigger than I need for, for both of my cameras. But I did want it um, so I could use it externally. And I, I carry this over my chest so I can reach right into it. And the reason I did that is because if I'm on the trail, I want to be able to access my cameras in case you know something goes on or I don't have to take my pack off every time. Uh, like I did with the M1 waste pack. I'd have to turn my pack around and get it out of there. So this is a lot easier, and I can take it on my own. I, I don't have any intention of using this as a, a bug out bag or a, an EDC. I just don't, honestly, I mean, masculinity aside, I just don't really want to carry this man purse around out in public. <laughs> but I think it's a great piece of kit uh, for being in the woods. It's versatile, it makes sense, it, it, it fills its purpose. I just don't want that hanging over my shoulder walking around. So it's just a, it's just a camera bag, and if I have to go somewhere, you know, out in public, I just, I fold up the strap, put it in here, and just carry it around. Real simple. Or make the girlfriend do it. And, uh, but, in several other videos, I've already gone through how they're constructed. And so does every other Maxpedition review video. I mean, it's all pretty simple, right? We know the material, we know the double stitching, the box stitching, the oversized YK zippers. I mean, uh, really, do I need covering it? I mean, Molly panels are self-explanatory. You can expand your gear and customize, you know. Um, you know, maybe some other things, two large drain holes in it. Let's hope I never get my camera equipment wet and need them. But um, a real quick rundown of what I'm doing with it. A camcorder in there, which is what I'm filming with. Extra batteries and the slip. It's got a large Velcro panel, which I'm going to take as for concealed carry. It's got another one inside the, in the back side of it there, too. That does not have a Velcro panel. But it's got plenty of room for my cameras, and even and even plus. So even though I, I know it's a little big for my needs right now, when I do upgrade to, say, uh, a nicer camera, something more serious, I'll have the room to expand without a problem. Um, and what I couldn't do with my M1 is now I've got my, even if I don't need it in the woods, I have it if I go someplace else. I got my battery charger, all my batteries, and I don't have the data cable in now because I definitely didn't need that today. And in the front small pouch, I keep a couple lens cleaners, you know, just in case you need those. Uh, overall, a great pack. It's versatile. Um, you can you can do a full shoulder sling like a, like a messenger bag because you got the two D clips at the side. You got a uh, this carry here. You got a snap here. The honestly, I can't. I haven't worked out what that's actually for yet. So maybe somebody can put in the comments what they what they think it is. Uh, it's definitely it's it's overly comfortable. Um, and dare I say, maybe it's a little over engineered. And here comes the, the only two complaints I had, uh, only one that I can think of, I knew I had two, is, well, it, it is over-engineered. It's, it's, it's not super large, but the strap for it is definitely possibly oversized. And when carrying it, a two-inch wide belt, it does, it does get on the neck a little bit, and either which way you carry it. And that probably could be avoided by just a slightly smaller strap. So that, that, was, that was my biggest complaint. You do get a little neck rub, especially when you combine it with a pack and carry it externally. And of course that can get annoying after a few miles. Um, you know, there's other things you can do. Rig it another way. Save yourself the trouble. Uh, it does breathe pretty well for such a small pack. It does carve a large portion of the chest when I carry it. So you can get a, uh, a sweaty spot. But this doesn't do too bad. It's very well ventilated here. And it's open and it moves freely. So there's not really a complaint about getting hot. You do have another Velcro pa uh, panel back here, obviously for another concealed carry or another, you know, another form of it. Um, other than that, you know, I can't say 
I know I had something else, but now I forgot. It probably wasn't that important. Overall, I like it. I'm glad I got it because I'll probably never need another camera bag. I'm not a professional photographer, so you know I don't need a bunch of lenses. But to be honest with you, a lot of them don't anymore anyway. So uh, it's definitely big enough. I definitely recommend it. I'm very happy with it. Of course, it's it's OD green, just like everything has to be that I have. I think that's pretty much it. I do have a lot of stills. I will throw them at the end, uh, just so you get a lot of a lot of stills of the pack. Um, I did a forum review several weeks ago on it when I had I had a ton of pictures, and I believe I still have all of them. So. I'll throw a whole bunch of stills and it'll give you a lot of angles of this pack that you may not get from anywhere else, including the insides, into the stitching, into all the pouches, close up of the clips and everything. So uh, stay tuned for that. Now, if you got any questions, let me know. And I think that's pretty much it. So uh, thanks a lot, guys, and that's my Remora review and hope you enjoy it. Thanks. All right, guys, just a quick supplemental video. I wanted to show you this is how I carry the pack because I put my backpack on over it. I carry it right out front because I'm right-handed. I actually have this set up as a left left gear. The how it would be set for my back is set up the left-handed way. So I have it set up that way to pick out of it right-handed while it's in front. And the reason is is I can reach in if I want to get capture wildlife or something like that. I can get my camera out and go into action without having to take my backpack off and, and do it that way, which is the way I've been doing it for a long time. So this is just my preferred method. This is the only method that's really of use to me unless I'm not wearing my pack and I can throw this around my back. But I don't usually hit a trail without it, so that, that's my intended purpose of this. It stays, it stays put, so I'm yep, pretty happy. So that's my method, and this is the reason why. So thanks a lot.